So this here is definitely going to be one of the most important video of mine. Why? Because in about 12 hours from now, the FOMC meeting is going to take place and they are going to decide whether to hike up the interest rate by 25 basis point or 50 basis point. And not just only that, we also have a new CPR place for this month of February. Yes, guys, this February month is clearly indicating us where the price of Bitcoin might be possibly heading and what kind of scenario to expect for the media short term. If you like what you just heard, then please, guys, please destroy that like button and for those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now looking at this you know weekly time frame as you can see i am going to keep it very very simple we have talked about this scenario but what i added here was this rsi and weekly moving average yes guys this 21 weekly moving average and rsi in a weekly frame because we can see very very clearly in the past price action i showed you guys when the price of bitcoin topped out here in 2017 this retracement or this price pullback ended after 364 days of downtrend but when we came at the bottom line what did the price of bitcoin started doing it started forming this range bound and also a continuation pattern here to the upside and when we had this bullish weekly candle breakout after some range bound you can see the price still continue this uptrend towards this 0.5 to 0.618 fibonacci line before right before again showing this weakness so in our case if you look at this carefully the price of bitcoin from this top till the bottom line if 15,000 was the bottom, then you can see we also took around 364 days. And since then, you can see just like here from the past price action, the price of Bitcoin is also doing very, very similar movement, which is indicating us that in the medium short term, we could see some range bound. Because if you look at this circle here, you can see there were plenty of shakeout, but at the end, price still managed to continue this uptrend towards the 0.5 to 0.618 before again showing this corrective movement so what i'm trying to show you here is that in the media short term we are expecting some shakeout please keep this in mind and even with the fomc you can see the market is definitely going to be very very volatile but if you also look at the rsi here to the downside guys you can see the rsi when the market started hitting it to the downside was clearly approaching around this oversold area yes when the rsi came across this oversold area and started heading towards the central line and even around the overbought area you can see what did the price of bitcoin started doing after that the price of bitcoin also started showing this impulsiveness we broke above this 50 line this central line and after that the price and even this rsi started heading to the upside and this similar scenario also unfolded here in 2022 so what i'm trying to show you here is that in our case the rsi is again above 50 level and if you also look here before this rsi went over 50 level you can see we were also around this oversold area just like here from the past price action so now since the price is above it just like here there could be some more range bound but there is a probability of price also heading here to the upside before right before choosing an actual train duration like this this is one possibility what i wanted to share with you in today's video because it's not just the rsi price also has managed to come across this 20 weekly moving average you can see this 20 weekly moving average here in the past price action was a very important line of resistance but once we flip that into proper support once we were above that we started this impulsive movement so in our case you can see this 21 exponential moving average was also rejecting the price we tried plenty of time to break out of it but we failed but this time you can see we are clearly above it just like here from the past price action so that's why that's why guys as long as we remain above this twenty thousand, the price of bitcoin still has some possibility to continue this uptrend before choosing an actual trend duration and beside this what i also want to add today is this golden cross and dead cross scenario which is unfolding here in a daily time frame yes guys in the past price action we have found out whenever the price of bitcoin has formed this golden cross in more than 90 percent of the cases the market has started showing this impulsiveness it has also been a short lived relief rally type of scenario after golden cross right but in most of the cases it has resulted in an impulsive movement and dead cross 
has resulted in a bearish price movement so in our case if you look at this carefully where are we we are about to witness a golden cross yes guys we are about to witness a golden cross and before this golden cross we were inside this dead cross i mean this was a dead cross scenario this was a bearish scenario so if the price of bitcoin after this long downtrend if it's going to continue this uptrend then you can see just like what i showed you here from the month of april and may in 2019 we could be forming a very similar scenario and now if you look at this in a daily time frame using this golden cross and dead cross you can see guys the price here after long term downtrend finally managed to show this golden cross and after that the price of bitcoin also rallied here to the upside and this is very very similar scenario here as well right now where we are we are also about to form this golden cross so i'm not showing you i'm not trying to show you that the price has to go in this manner but in the past price action after this golden cross the price has resulted in some really nice impulsive movement maybe first we are going to see some retracement price coming back to test the support around 20 to 22 000 range before again continue this uptrend there is a possibility i'm going to show you why but for now you can see this golden cross is also about to happen and now let me show you why there is a possibility for price to show some refreshment here to the downside first before continuing this uptrend. So before we start talking about this CPI indicator, leading indicator, please guys, please destroy that like button if you haven't done it yet. And for those individuals watching it for the first time, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Now, if you look at this in a daily time frame, if you look at the CPI indicator, you can see just like how we predicted yesterday, the CPI lines are between 20,000 to 22,000 range and now we know this lines top CPI line central pivot line and the bottom CPI line is definitely going to be one of the most strongest support for Bitcoin yes guys these lines right are definitely going to be one very very important line of support but since the price has opened above the CPI line it has formed a VCPR yes guys this here is called a vcpr because the price is choosing a trend duration without testing the support from this cpi line so what happens in most of the cases price usually gets attracted towards the cpi line first before continuing this uptrend but in many cases right we have all the same price getting attracted towards the monthly iron line and after that, a free fall here to the downside towards the CPI line. That is also one scenario which has unfolded here in past price action. So what I'm trying to show you here is that since this here is a VCPR, first the price of Bitcoin could get gravitated here to the downside before right choosing a trend duration here in this manner. And if this trend is going to remain around the CPI line, since it's a ascending CPI, and as I've been very clear, ascending CPI only gets formed when the price is preparing itself for this uptrend and in the past price action as i've already showed you plenty of time in the video ascending cpi means the price is going to continue this uptrend and in our case since this is also an ascending cpi that means any sort of a retracement in the medium short term the cpi lines are definitely going to be acting as a strong line of support and also for this month of february the monthly arrow one line the first target for this month is sitting around 25,900 area. Yes, guys, this monthly iron line is going to be looked as our first target for this month of February. But before that, before we get attracted here first, there could be a possibility of price testing the support from the CPI line before deciding what to do next. But in the worst case scenario, right, if we do break all the support from the CPI line and price also breaks below the bottom CPI line, the final support, in that case, the monthly S1 line is going to be looked as our upcoming target. And this monthly S1 line is lying around 18,400 price range. So that's why, as you can see, 25,900 is looked as our potential upcoming target because the price is above the CPI line. But in the medium short term, we are expecting some shakeout price coming back to this the support from this line before again continue, more probably continue this uptrend here in this manner because we know. There could also be a support, a retest around this 
Williams alligator indicator yes guys just like here you can see there could be another retest around the CPI indicator sorry Williams alligator indicator before it chooses a trend duration because if you look here to the downside MACD has just turned bearish in a daily time frame this MACD has turned bearish RSI line even though it's over 50 level bearish divergence forming right and even here in a T3 CCI this is a bearish divergence so we know in a daily time frame there might be some shakeout but the biggest shakeout is going to happen due to the FOMC today. So definitely please do not over leverage yourself and manage your risk properly. Not just only this, not just only this guys. What we are also aware of, if the price does show this shakeout, then according to this continuation pattern, which we have already talked in my videos, you can see the same line which previously acted as a strong line of resistance is going to be acting as a support around 22,000 and even here around 20 to 21,000 range. So along with the CPI line, along with this Williams alligator indicator, we also have a support from this previous temporary resistance line between 20,000 to 22,000 range. So any sort of shakeout here today and price still remaining above that line means there is still a possibility of price getting attracted towards the 25,000 range and flipping that into support means even higher number. So this were some of the quick update that i wanted to share with you in today's video if you enjoyed my work then please guys please destroy that like button and for those individuals watching you the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now by saying this i'm signing out my name is anoop bye bye